the Madhouse, the famed Quarter Mile, Bowman Gray Stadium Racing. Some would say that it's a rolling demolition derby. Others might express that it's an asphalt circus, even with their own court gesture. Akin to a hockey match, it's a place where you go for the fight and a race happens to break out. For those that compete at Bowman Gray, though, for those that regularly attend Bowman Gray, it's more than entertainment or a weekend hobby. It's a way of life, and everything is planned around the Saturday Night Lights of the greatest show around turf. Hello, race fan. Lee Craft, the Monday Morning Racer here, and welcome to the channel, Monday Morning Racer. In this particular video, I'm going to express to you why you need to attend a race at Bowman Gray Stadium. In sports, there are places in which we should attend a sporting event and say, well, we've been there. Fenway Park, for example, maybe Lambeau Field, and racing and motorsports is no different. We have places that we need to attend, whether they're the biggest races of them all or they're that place of historical significance that makes it a place in which we ought to pilgrimage to for motorsports sake and the love thereof and say that we have been there. And I count it as an honor to say that I've been able to be at Bowman Gray Stadium. I was on the media list recently, and when I went there, I thought I was going to go and cover a race. And I found out as I was experiencing Bowman Gray Stadium racing that I was covering just that, an experience a racing experience that I think anyone that loves motorsports, you ought to experience for yourself. At this point, I've been to raceways all across this nation and of many different types, drag strips, road courses, short tracks, dirt tracks, and even super speedways. Some of them of a prestigious nature, such as Daytona International Speedway, Indianapolis Motor Speedway, the drag strip at the Fairplex in Pomona, California, and Virginia International Raceway. Not only have I been to a lot of tracks and prestigious tracks, but I've been to tracks for historical moments. I think of Dale Earnhardt Sr. driving that silver Goodwrench car under the lights at a Winston Select event Charlotte Motor Speedway, I was there. I think of Terry Labonte winning the, if you will allow me, last Southern 500 under the traditional format. I was there at Darlington Raceway to see that. I was there when Casey Kane finished second to Elliott Sadler at Texas Motor Speedway. I was there when Leah Pruitt had her horrific crash in St. Louis in top fuel in NHRA competition. I've been able to see some unique moments in motorsports. And let me say, with all the tracks that I've been to, and with all the historical moments that I have seen and experienced in person, there is something special about what Bowman Gray has. It is more than a place to go race. With all that stated, I think the proper place in which to begin on why you should attend a race at Bowman Gray is the history. You and I are no longer able as NASCAR fans to attend and experience a race on the sands of Daytona Beach, but Bowman Gray might be as close as you're going to get. In 1937, the facility that we understand as Bowman Gray Stadium was built, and its purpose is that of a multi-purpose facility. Its first event, in fact, was a Wake Forest versus Duke collegiate football game. It still holds football games to this very day. The quarter-mile asphalt track that wraps around the turf that serves as a football field had its NASCAR racing be established in 1949 by Bill France Sr. himself along with a Mr. Alvin Hawkins. 
Since 1949, Bowman Gray Stadium has had over 1,000 NASCAR sanctioned events, from the modifieds to even the cup level. When you look at those who have raced there, it is a who's who of NASCAR. We're talking about families such as the Petties, the Earnhardts, and the Allisons. Individuals like Glenn Wood, Junior Johnson, Ned Jarrett, Richard Childress himself. When you look at the historical nature of tracks, oftentimes people are going to mention Daytona, Talladega, Charlotte Motor Speedway, Darlington Raceway. The fact is, though, the most historic NASCAR track that there is, it's Bowman Gray. So why should you attend Bowman Gray? Because you are diving to the very roots of the existence of NASCAR when you attend a race at the Madhouse. Next, concerning why you should attend a race at Bowman Gray, it has to be the setting. I find it unique in comparison to many of the other short tracks throughout the nation that Bowman Gray is situated near downtown Winston-Salem. And though Winston-Salem is often overlooked in comparison to Charlotte, Asheville, and Raleigh-Durham, this major city in North Carolina really shouldn't be. It's home to Wake Forest University, has a vibrant art scene, great places to eat downtown, and plenty of other oddities and novelties of commercialized nature and of a historical nature for you to check out. One of them being Bowman Gray itself. In fact, when you're in the stadium, you're close enough to Winston-Salem and it's downtown that you can see the skyline lit up at night. I don't know of any other racetrack that has that feeling. Ballparks do, but not racetracks. Speaking of ballparks, this stadium, we're not talking about aluminum bleachers. No, we're talking about a classic horseshoe design where you feel that you're a part of the action because you're down at the level with the action. I'll put it this way, ladies and gentlemen. Attending a race at Bowman Gray should be akin to going to Wrigley Stadium or going to Fenway Park in baseball. That's really what Bowman Gray should be considered for the NASCAR fan. It's our Fenway Park. It's our Wrigley Field. And though it's a older facility, they have not skimped on modern amenities. There's a beer garden. There are great concessions where you can even get Chick-fil-A and Domino's Pizza at a reasonable price. Oh, speaking of the price, it's only $12 as an adult to go watch great racing action at the most historic venue that NASCAR offers. By the way, the parking is free. Moving right along on why you should attend a race at Bowman Gray, it has to be the fans themselves. The fan base at Bowman Gray Stadium is not your average short track fan base. Most of the time you go to a local short track and you're going to be enjoying a race with people who are doing just that along with you. They're enjoying the totality of the race. That doesn't seem to be the case at Bowman Gray. Yes, they're enjoying all of the racing, but they are heavily invested and they know who they like, and they know who they despise. I have not experienced at any other short track the pop of the crowd when a name is announced of cheers or jeers, hollers of appreciation, or shout downs of boos concerning the particular personalities that race there. I don't think I've ever seen more birds, middle fingers, fly from stands to their most hated driver or seen so many fans waving on and cheering on their favorite driver at a local short track. Frankly, the energy was more like a cup race than a short track race. One fan in particular that I thoroughly enjoyed seeing was this kid. He had all the flags. He had the checkered flag, the white flag, green flag, yellow flag, and he was on the backstretch coming out of turn two, and he flagged the entire race. I love seeing those type of things. And yes, I understand those things do happen 
at other tracks throughout the United States of America. But this was on a different level, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, we're not talking about a track that counts 5,000 showing up to its venue as a good night. No, this place can hold 20,000 people. And the night in which I was there, it's an estimated 10 to 11,000 people, which I thought was a good-looking crowd and an engaged crowd, a passionate crowd. But I was informed that they're used to more and that there being an even greater amount of energy at that track from the fans. So the fans there are passionate. How passionate are they? The line to get in was long hours before the racing ever began. And let me say this on the crowd. You might say, oh, that's just a bunch of dumb rednecks. No. Oh, I'm sure there was a dumb redneck or two, but this was one of the most diverse short track crowds I think I've ever seen. And what it showed is that Bowman Gray is more to the community than just a racetrack. It is a community center. It is a community happening. The night that I was there, there was a local business that was attempting to find qualified candidates from the crowd so that they could hire them and give them the job. And Wake Forest University itself was there trying to sell season tickets to the football games. The Bowman Gray fan base is something to experience in and of themselves. My last reason on why you need to attend a race at Bowman Gray is the racers and the racing. It is a racetrack. That's one reason why you would want to attend. So at Bowman Gray, they have four divisions that you're going to enjoy on a Saturday night. That's stadium stock, street stock, sportsmen, and modifieds, and the modifieds being the king. Now, stadium stock is very similar to what most people would say are mini stock. Street stock, maybe like a limited late model, and then sportsmen, late models, and then modifieds themselves, they are their own animal. And when it comes to racing, and racing in the southeast, I grew up in the upset of South Carolina, and at Anderson Motor Speedway, and Greenville Pickens Speedway, and all the other dirt tracks around the area, you were not going to encounter a modified. Bowman Gray is the epicenter for Southern NASCAR modified racing. If you want to see the best modified racing in the South, and I dare say maybe anywhere, it's Bowman Gray. And we're talking about skilled, top-tier drivers, in my estimation. Many of them could be racing at the higher supposed level of NASCAR, such as a Tim Brown and a Burt Myers. Some are racing in those higher levels, such as Danny Bone. He races in the modified division and also in the NASCAR truck series. And these drivers, many of them, well, they know who they are. I'll steal from the nomenclature of the wrestling world. You have clear heels and baby faces running around there at Bowman Gray. You have the hard chargers who are going to move you out of the way, and you have those that race oh, a bit more respectfully, and they clash. And certainly they're going to clash on a track that is, well, a quarter mile. It's maybe not even a half of a lane to race on, and for all I know, it's negatively banked. It's going to produce intense racing action. And isn't that what we want as race fans? Well, there you have it, race fans. My reasons on why you should attend a race at Bowman Gray. The NASCAR history, the unique setting, the fan base themselves, and the racers and racing action. Now, let me give you my one-day travel guide to Winston-Salem, North Carolina, and Bowman Gray. Because when you think about the NASCAR action that you can catch in the region... Bowman Gray should definitely be on your list and you should get it in because if you are able to attend easily a race at 
Darlington, Atlanta Motor Speedway, Bristol, Charlotte Motor Speedway, Richmond, or Martinsville, there's no reason for you not to take a Saturday and catch what Winston-Salem has to offer as well as catch the racing action at Bowman Gray. So, number one, Winston-Salem, North Carolina, you must eat a Krispy Kreme donut. Why? Because it's the headquarters of Krispy Kreme. So make sure that hot sign is on and get yourself a Krispy Kreme donut. Beyond that, I highly recommend the Winston Cup Museum. Now, I was not able to attend the Winston Cup Museum when I was in town. It's open on Saturday and I stayed over for Sunday, but go check out the Winston Cup Museum before hitting the track. Downtown, you've got plenty of food options. I highly recommend Camel City Barbecue Factory. It was great. From there, check out the art scene downtown, which offers a lot of galleries and plenty of wall art through downtown Winston-Salem. Beyond downtown, there's a lot you can see. How about this shell-shaped shell station? Or the Haynes Mall, which is one of the finest malls that you can experience in the Southeast. But be sure to get to Bowman Gray Stadium itself early, get you that free parking spot. Remember, $12 only to enter and enjoy a night of racing action. Don't wait for a supposed cup date. Rather, enter the madness as it is. I'm the Monday Morning Racer. Subscribe to the channel and give this video a like. And until next time, God bless and keep the pedal to the metal.